World Archery Indoor Championship Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the competitors for the recurve junior men's Carl Archie, individual along with title. Donald. The World Archery Indoor Championships here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we hope you enjoy the coverage here on YouTube. The as soon as the juniors are done, we will be breaking away momentarily for just a few moments. We hope you'll stay with us. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so after the junior competition has been completed, and we'll be back for the finals in the senior individual competition. Some great matches coming up here in Las Vegas. Some really intriguing matches. Now this is going to be one of the Dutch archers against one of the Italian archers, Seth Vandenberg from the Netherlands against Luca Moran of Italy. And that's Luca Shooting right the there. Medal, Luca Italy. Moran. Luca Moran. 20 years old. Beat Old Zamora of Mexico in the quarterfinals 7 to 3, then won in the semis by the same score over his Ukrainian opponent. 20 years old. He'll be taking on a 17 year old, Seth. Vandenberg. Vandenberg, or VDB as I like to call him. Had a little trouble winning his quarterfinal match 7 to 1, but was really challenged in the semis, winning another shoot off the coach's box for with the Netherlands. Ukrainian archer. Olympic Vandenberg had to shoot a 10 to win it, and he did. So he's been tested under pressure and has come through with flying colors. So Vandenberg for the first shot on target one. Opening arrow. Ooh, that was a bit of a wild release. And it's way out there. It might have just grabbed the nine ring. If so, just barely. Ten. Oh, he threw it forward a little bit. He got away with it, though. So immediately on the first shot, the door is open for Moran, and he takes advantage of it. Ten. Fires Here's a, a better ten. shot. Yeah. Bravo, Luca. It looks like Mr. Moran has, has come out with all business in mind, and he's just getting at it. Ten. Okay. So Good. two tens and a nine for Vandenberg. Right, and it's all in Moran's court. He can win the set with a ten. He can split it with a nine or lose it with something less. Ten, ten, ten. ten. Bravo, Luca. That's a Bravo. great start. First set. So he will take the first set and Italy take two set two points two right two there. And the and that's a big, big confidence back. booster for that young man, Luca Moran. And uh, just an interesting note there, Wietse Van Alten is the coach for Mr. Vandenberg. And he's the, I believe he's the silver medalist or maybe the bronze medalist from the Sydney Olympics. Awesome. He's got a coach with some good international experience behind him. I'm not as familiar with the Italian coach, so I can't tell you an interesting piece of trivia about him. <laughs> I used to I'm compete sure with Google. I used to compete with Wietze, which is why I know that. Luca, give me some more So So Luca Moran, with a trio of ten okay. to get this match started, okay. takes a two nothing lead. Okay, right, right, right. right. shot well. Okay. Yeah, after that first on his first arrow, that first little bit of an oops, and then he settled right in too. So this. This could come down to be a very, very close match and a very good hurry. Vandenberg trailing will shoot first to start the second set. Has and the three top ten finishes on his resume already. Impressive. The pressure is still on okay. Vandenberg to shoot good solid tens because he is behind in the match but he's turned it right back over to the Italian, who I, it looks like he's got the Italian colors as a fletching. Ten. Così, Luca, così. Yes, he does. He's got a white fletch, a red fletch, and a green fletch on those arrows. And it seems to be all working Ten. for him. Good Absolutely. Right tempo, you. Now it's game on. So the two archers are, are taking slightly different strategies to this indoor Hope event. Very, very last. Nine. Mr. Moran there has larger arrows, probably 9.3 millimeters in diameter, which the is the, arrows. They're the maximum allowable diameter, diameter for an indoor event. And he's shooting big feathers on them, which are maximum amount of correction, whereas 
Mr. Vandenberger here Ten, looks like two, two, draw for the match. probably ACEs, possibly X-10s, which are very, very skinny arrows with tiny little spin wing fletches. It's a more conventional setup for an outdoor event. And there we go. It's right back, back to even. Mr. Vandenberg and Mr. Moran are now tied. One set of piece, two points a piece. Nice short sound for Vandenberg. He comes back after dropping the first set. He wins the second set. Picks up two points, and as the result of that, we're tied at two all in terms of set points here in this junior men's recurve gold medal match. Vandenberg of the Netherlands and Luca Moran of Italy. As you take a look at the scores and the set points, Mr. Vandenberg will be shooting first. Vandenberg will shoot first again. DOS, please confirm. Vandenberg was ninth individually in the cadet men's competition at the World Youth Championships in Poland. He also finished eighth in the mixed team event. Okay, Chef. Well, and at this event, uh, Vandenberg ranked fifth, where, whereas Moran ranked sixth. So we're seeing a tight match, and it should have been a tight match. These two archers are very, very even in terms of competitive ability. A little bit of a long hold, he got away with it. That's dead center. Took his time, was patient, and it pays off. As Luca Moran will try to keep pace. Ten. And does. So one thing I haven't mentioned yet, the, the recurve 10 ring. So this is the recurve bow as opposed to the compound, which is what we, what we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. This 10 ring looks bigger because it is bigger. This one's four centimeters across as opposed to the, the compound 10 ring, which is only two centimeters across. So these guys have a little ten. bit more ah, wiggle room to, to shoot. Uh, and that's, that's to account for the fact that they're using their fingers on the string instead of a release. release they don't have a magnifying ten. telescope, no, yeah, uh, magnifying sight scope, Mr. or a back sight. Also a a peep sight. Opportunity for Moran right now to pick up two more points and regain the lead in this match. Potentially. That's a nine asterisk, so that arrow could be a ten. Nine. So now it's actually oh. a possible. Well, so Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Absolutely. Mr. Vandenberg it's interesting how just in the blink of an eye, or whether the two shooters things can change. Uh, uh, that's why you got to shoot all your arrows. We'll you don't know how it's going to come out until the last Mr. arrow shot. Is called so now they anxiously, anxiously await the decision of the judges as they'll go survey the targets and decide whether to take that asterisk away. I'm pretty sure that arrow is a 10. Uh, when I took a look at it, I thought it was a 10. We'll, we'll see what the glass. judge has to say. The fact that the judge has pulled out a magnifying glass on that doesn't mean a whole lot. That is proper judging protocol. Uh, the judges are, are instructed to come in with authority, pull out the magnifying glass, give it a good look from three different angles, call it with authority, and walk away. So that's their job. That's what. That's how they're instructed to score it. It's the best way to get a good call. And it leaves the archers yeah, feeling confident that. that they got a good call. Okay, Chef. They just be out. I'm not sure what the result of that call was I yet. I have not heard anything, although on the score sheet they right, have, the original shooting order, since we have a draw. given both archers right. a 29 a draw for that third set. If so, then they split those points. Well, and given that he's shooting first, it must be a draw. So we're still tied up. We are. Now at three apiece. Nine. Ooh, that's a big nine. That's the same shot, he, well, same shot, different result that he made on that first arrow. Cool. Bit of a wild release. Now Luca Moran. Nine. Ooh, another Moran nine. Just with a nine. Luca Moran. I, I wonder if these athletes in the, in this so round, because most of them don't have telescopes, I wonder how that affects their ability to move their sight intelligently, because you just don't have the opportunity. It's not the same feel to have someone tell you where your arrows are, as when you can get down and you can take a look at the target and you can see the group holes, the whole groups. I don't know quite how to say that eloquently, but if you look at these holes. Most of Moran's arrows are a little bit high, a little bit right. Mm -hmm. And I would like him to move his sight up a little bit, a little bit to the right. Nine. But I've been an athlete being dis directed to move my sight by a coach, and it's not as Nine. easy as it sounds. 
A 10 right here will give the set. 10. Is it on the line? That is a 10. Look at the line. They give him a 10. If so, then he will take a 5 to 3 lead in the match by picking up the two set points right there. So that was a big shot for Luca Moran. It was. Right now, Van der Berg's coach trying to keep him calm, keep him settled. If he comes back, wins the next set. We have a shootout. We have, yeah, we have a. It's game on. Yeah, if Vandenberg wins this next set, it will be a draw at the end of set play. It will be, be tied into, at five. Yep, and we will be into the, the shoot-off. Which, which I know you love. I love the shoot-off. Your pal Chris Benduanius loves it. I love it too. One arrow, if we get there, it's one arrow closest to the center. So first they'll decide by score, which is sort of a, a course method of deciding closest to the center, but if they score the same, they will measure it. That's only if we get to the shoot-off, which of course requires Vandenberg to win this set outright. He trails five to three as Vandenberg lines up the first shot of this fifth set. Ten. That was a much better release, and that's a dead center ten. The shot he had to have. And it puts the pressure right back on Luca Moran. Ten. Bravo, Luca. Great answers response. with another Bravo. great ten, yes. So back and forth we go here in Las Vegas. Ten. Now Vandenberg fires another ten. And Vandenberg is, he's competing. He knows he's competing for his life. He's on it. How the tempo fast. Waits to see what this Moran comes up nine. with. Yeah. And, and it cost him perhaps as he shoots a nine. You really want to have a good rhythm while you're shooting. Uh, if, you, if you're not holding quite long enough, you haven't settled into your shot. If you hold too long, ten, you're starting to get ten, tired. 10, 10, 10. ten. Oh. He wins the set. We have our shoot off. We've got the shoot off you were hoping for. Fantastic. No matter what Luca Moran does right here, he's got, and he's got a, a 10. He comes up one point short in this shot. And he's still, all of his arrows are still high, and still a little bit right. So we finally have our first shoot off of the day. We didn't have a shoot off of the team competition. And in this, the fourth and final junior match that we've got. We finally get to a shoot off. Boy, what great, great experience this is for these kids. Okay. Call them kids, actually. They, they're almost seasoned pros. By this point, yes, they've seen probably almost as much international experience as I have. They have traveled the world, especially at such a young age. And they've come to Long Island, now they're going to roll the dice. And we're going to see who comes up, cashes in, gets the gold. Junior men's recurve gold medal match. Seth Vanderberg of the Netherlands and Luca Moran of Italy. And it's been back and forth throughout this match. Moran won the first set. Vanderberg won the second set. They split the third set. Moran won the fourth set. And then Vanderberg wins the fifth set. So seesaw battle back and forth throughout this entire match. Absolutely. Uh, okay, Jeff. Chef oh. Vandenberg shooting first on really the risk of sounding like matches. Oh, it's, it's excellent. Shoot it's been him. very, very good. So he's got to shoot at the center target yeah, face. Anywhere. And I'm sure he knows that. One shot to determine the winner. Holding Whose shot long. will it be? Got away with it. It's a 10. Nine. So if Moran can here. put this in the middle of the target, he gets the gold. And Ten. there it is. Bravo, Luca Moran wins Bravissimo it. Luca. But that was darn close. They both, have, uh, they both are on the 10 line. Luca is Champion a little bit close to the set side, yeah. Luca Moran! Dai, Luca! <laughs> One happy coach. Very happy coach. Silver medal for Chef Vandenberg. All the more worthwhile. Well, and as disappointed as Vandenberg might feel, he shouldn't. He, he shot a great match. He shot a ton of really good arrows, and he shot a 10 and a shoot-off. Just great competition between these two young men, but it is Luca Moran who gets to hold his arrow and his bow up high, pose for the pictures here as he is the gold medalist in the junior men's recurve gold medal match in Las Vegas at the World Archery Indoor.